Welcome to another Chef Design School lunch meal. My name is Ed Herrera and I'm with the Idaho Department of Education. And this is Chef Brenda Thompson and she is a registered dietitian and a certified chef. Hi Ed, how are you today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm good, I'm excited to share with you the Southwest Burrito recipe. So we are going to get started here. First, with all the recipes, it's really important to make sure that you're following the recipes and we always start the recipes out in this book by preparing the ingredients. So in the, the recipes, it talks about um, slicing up some green peppers, but when we went to purchase some products, the red peppers were on sale. And so we decided that we could easily use the red peppers instead of the green peppers. Not a big deal. And then we decided to dice them instead of slice them. That's the great thing about cooking is that you can change things up a little bit, but you just want to make sure that you're changing your recipe accordingly so that you're meeting the USDA standards. Absolutely. Yes. And then we diced up some onions here, and then we shredded the USDA mozzarella cheese. All right. And then we also have here the USDA processed barbecue pork. Correct. Do you want to tell us about that a little bit? Yes. Idaho has an agreement with, with our processor, and we get this barbecued pork in for our schools. And uh, it's, it's a very, very popular item that we've had for several years. And this is just another application of how to use this product other than in its most traditional sense. Absolutely, and it's such a good product. It's very yummy. The students love it, and um, it definitely has my stamp of approval. It's delicious. So you just want to warm up your pulled pork according to the manufacturer's instructions. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so we have that underway, and now we want to go to warming up our tortillas. So we were out doing some testing and saw that some of the climates that are really dry, they have to add a little bit more moisture than what the recipe calls for here. So what they did was they added some saran wrap on top of the tortillas. They didn't cover them quite all the way, and then they just added on top of that a nice damp towel um, that's very clean, obviously, and then they covered it with foil. But what we're going to do today is we have four wet paper towels that we're just sticking in the corner of each corner of the pan, and then we're going to put foil on it. We want to make sure that we put a nice tight seal around the tortillas. And the reason that you want to do that is because you don't want the moisture to escape out of the pan. You want to go it into the tortillas. And it makes them really nice and um, a little elastic. And that's very, very important when we are making a, uh, the burritos. You certainly want the tortilla to be pliable. And you don't want the tortilla to, to break when you're trying to wrap these burritos. Absolutely. Okay, so these tortillas will warm very nicely if you just put them in the oven for a couple of hours. Or in the warmer, in the warmer. not the oven. Yes, in the warmer. All right, so those are going in the warmer. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and make our rice. This is a whole grain brown rice. And the great thing about the way we're going to cook it is it's almost foolproof. We will not ruin it unless you way overcook it. Okay. So if you just add the water, what we did is we added the, the rice in here, and then we added some, we added the rice, now we're adding some hot water, and then we're going to add some chili powder. And we recommend that you follow the manufacturer's instructions for your whole grains that you're cooking. And um, the only thing I recommend is that you don't add the salt, because salt dehydrates and we want to hydrate. So I just never add the salt, okay. even if the manufacturer recommends it. Okay, so now we have our seasoning in here, and um, you can stir it up a little bit if you'd like. And then we're just gonna add some foil over the top. And once again, you want a nice tight seal. Absolutely because we want to keep the moisture inside of the pan so that it goes into the rice. Okay, so now we're going to take this to the oven. Okay, Ed, now it's time to go ahead and prepare the beans. Mm -hmm. So for the Southwest, we need the rice and we need the beans. So we're going to take our diced red peppers that we substituted for the green peppers. 
And then we're going to add our diced onions. Now this is gonna create a lot of smell for the, the cafeteria, so it'll, the smell will go out into the school. So the aroma of the cooking vegetables will, again, work in our favor? Absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna mix this all up. This is our powdered garlic and cumin. And we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. Now, these beans are the USDA low sodium beans. So if you want to enhance the flavor, you could always mix this the day before. You could even just mix it up like this and throw it in the refrigerator and then bake it in the oven the next day. Or if you have a tilt skillet, you can throw it in the tilt skillet and warm it that way. Today we're going to throw it into um, the oven. But if you mix all of these flavors beforehand, then the beans are going to take in a lot of that flavor and they won't be so bland. Wonderful. All right, so once you get that all mixed up, then what you're going to do is you're going to wrap it in foil. <laughs> and you wanna get, again, get that really nice tight seal. And then we'll take it to the oven. So now we've pulled out the rice and the beans out of the oven, what's next? All right, so now we're going to assemble our burrito. Now we want, you, you wanna kind of, if you haven't done this before, you want to do a little bit of a test, um, maybe the day before, and train all the staff on how to wrap a burrito. Because one of the things that we ran into when we were testing was that not everybody knew how to wrap the burrito and the process was very slow. So if you do a little bit of training before, beforehand, then we can, uh, you can be a little bit faster, okay? So, so you're recommending a practice run? Yes, a practice run. Because if you have 500 or 1,000 burritos that you need to wrap, you have to be pretty fast at it. But then again, if you have a nice little assembly line going, that could go a lot faster than you really anticipate. Absolutely, so that's what you wanna do. Um, three people is optimal, two people it's gonna take a little bit more time. Okay. And you can make them a little bit more, you know, a little bit ahead of time, but you don't want them to sit too long because with the barbecue pork, it definitely can get a little bit soggy. Okay. So, okay, so to assemble this here, we have three ounces of the barbecue pork, and you wanna make sure that when you're putting the pork on, that you are spreading it out evenly. Because we found also that if we didn't do that, then when the students bit into it, one time they'll get a bite of rice, and then they'll get a, another time they'll get a bite of meat. So you wanna keep it kind of consistent. And then we have our rice that we're putting on, one and three-fourths tablespoon, and then two tablespoons of beans the bean mixture, bean and vegetable mixture. And then we're gonna add about a half of an ounce of cheese. Okay, now the trick here is that you want to take your burrito when you're rolling it and push the ingredients into the back side of the wrap here and start to roll. And then you're going to fold in the burrito on the side and then continue to roll. And then you're gonna go ahead and wrap up the burrito here. And then serve it like this. And then you have your salsa on the side. Wonderful. All right. So when the, when the students see the burrito, what sort of reaction did they have with it being wrapped up? They really liked it. In fact, uh, the food service staff liked it too because it's a fast grab and go. So it's great for high school programs, grab and go. And um, the students really liked it because when they started open, opening up the burrito, they would say, oh my gosh, this is a big surprise. This is so great. They really enjoyed it. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. So, so, so this has been another Chef Design School Lunch Meal by Chef Brenda. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you.